Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Cool Ideas channel. So, brace yourselves because we're diving headfirst into the world of innovation, automation, and a dash of sci-fi right here. Let me tell you, I stumbled upon this news that had me scratching my head. Panasonic, the folks who brought you your TV, your microwave, and your remote control. Well, they've decided to jump into the automobile industry. Yeah, you heard it right. So, Panasonic is rolling out a car, and it's not just any car, my friends. They're calling it the mobile living room. Picture this. You're cruising down the road in what can only be described as a glass capsule on wheels. I mean, if you ever wanted to be a fish in a giant mobile fishbowl, this is your chance. It's the perfect vehicle for the introvert in all of us, right? No need for tinted windows, just go out there and live your life in a giant transparent bubble. But here's where it gets interesting. Inside this crystal clear contraption, you'll find an L-shaped sofa. Now, I've had my fair share of uncomfortable car seats. But never have I imagined myself lounging on a sofa while stuck in traffic. I can see it now. Someone's honking, and you're just reclining there sipping your morning coffee. Like, hey, road rage, can't hear you from my living room on wheels. Now, let's talk about the tech inside this mobile living room. Panasonic claims it has displays that respond to voice and gestures. And the best part, folks, no steering wheel and no pedals. It's all about autopilot. The car's sensors can recognize other vehicles, pedestrians, and cyclists. It's like they've created a personal chauffeur who doesn't need a tip and doesn't mind you munching. On those Cheetos in the back seat. But don't get too excited about racing your friends with this thing. I mean, it's not designed to be fast. You know what that means, right? It's perfect for city driving. Where you'll still be stuck in traffic, but you'll do it in style, like a boss. Now, if you've enjoyed this hilarious ride through the world of weird news, don't forget to subscribe to the Cool Ideas channel. We've got more bizarre stories and entertaining insights coming your way. Until next time, keep laughing and stay curious, my friends.